So right now we're gonna be trying out Kellogg's s'mores. Here we go. Alrighty guys, so just got back home from my ride and the store before I hit class. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I am having right now. This is a relatively small pickup, but I wanna show you guys what I got at the store, so let's do it. Alrighty, first things first. You guys know I like the vanilla almond cashew milk. That stuff's legit. I'm actually gonna be filming a uh, recipe video with my crispy tofu, so I'm gonna be doing that uh, tonight. So the usual fruit for work, I've been going through about four pears and like two apples and a banana at work. Usually that's like a rough estimate of my fruit consumption. Some Brussels sprouts for tonight. Um, got a lot of broccoli. So just the vegetables, gotta get those micros in of course. And then these are great for like little stir fries. Might actually do a stir fry tonight, so. Boy oh boy, I haven't seen this cereal in forever. Apparently it's back. Uh, I want to review this tonight for you guys, so I'll likely be doing that. Rice cakes, get a banana. Also gonna be doing another recipe with this. And last but not least, we have garbanzo beans. So that's what I'm rocking with right now, guys. Stay tuned for the next part of the video. The live stream is gonna watch me taste test my broccoli, or not my broccoli, but my tofu in the latest recipe video. So that will be out soon. Crispy tofu pairs very well with broccoli and rice. So let's try it out. Alrighty guys, so before you guys judge me, this was on clearance. And by clearance, I mean ultra clearance. Paleo bread, 99 cents for this entire loaf. There are the macros for you guys. I wanted to give it a shot. This is like an almond flavor. Let's see how it tastes. That is a very interesting looking piece of bread, but we're gonna try it. Have to put a little something on it first though. Bread's always better with mayonnaise. Serious. I'm pleasantly surprised. It's quite delicious. But sorry guys, I'm not gonna go paleo. Alrighty guys, we're gonna give this French toast a little shot. If you wanna call it French toast, but. Not bad. Obviously I stole this from Vegan Gains. It's still delicious. Doesn't this look familiar? New tripod. What's up, Mr. Castro over here? What's up, dude? He pops in the live streams occasionally. Yeah. He gets off work, but yeah. but yeah, we're trying to work on that. It's all good. All right. What's your favorite video? Um, I think my favorite one was probably the one where uh, you got all like the different candies from like everybody else. Germany. Like, Everyone, everyone's got their preferences, right? But yeah, so shout out to Michael Castro, awesome subscriber. Um, what do you hit today? Uh, shoulders. He's gonna kill shoulders we'll do today. A and I'm gonna 
try to kill deadlifts if I don't kill myself first, but you know. But we're gonna get to it later, guys. Alrighty, guys, so here we are, another voiceover from my session from yesterday. This was me doing some pulls. I just headed in and wanted a deadlift uh, after my awesome session at Barbell Brigade. Uh, a few days ago in LA, which is awesome. I got 375 for a single um, I really wanted to test it out and see where I was at in terms of uh, my sumo pulls And I wanted to see if I could get 365 up for three. I've been trying at it for I want to say a week now um, I knew going into this that it was gonna be a challenge and I really honestly feel like uh, it's such I mean going back to hex plates man, it was a luxury lifting with non hex plates in an actual powerlifting gym and going back to this and it was just like ugh, why am i doing this right now but i felt awesome everything um honestly felt faster in terms of my bar speed and i was really happy with it obviously you guys can see uh, that's why i filmed it um from this angle is my hips are lower than um Usual, but they're still pretty high. I've always pulled with high, you know, just high hips, but I'm really starting to uh, to get that uh, hip drive in, involved, and uh, that's really key. It's it's going to help me a lot. And um, usual, just working up 315 for a triple, then I'll move on to 335 for a triple, and then that's usually when I attempt my top set. And um, yeah, so I mean, it felt everything felt fast. It felt I I, I felt like I at this point was going to get 365. And um, I, I felt like I was going to be confident with it, and um, you know, it's just one of those days getting in on my lunch break at work, um, and uh, I just was trying to put myself up. You guys will see right here. I didn't manage to get it, but I got further than I had before. I'll let you guys stay tuned right now for the pool, and stay tuned for the rest of the video, of course. See you guys. So overall, it was pretty discouraging, but you know what? It, it is what it is. Um, I, you know, I kind of laughed a little bit because I was I was hyping myself up, and um, I knew if I went for that set again, um, if I rested a little bit more, my boy Michael Castro, you guys saw in the clip before, was was um, scoping my form and everything, and uh, let me know. It's like I my rest sets are very. Uh, I probably take about 30 seconds to 40 seconds to rest just because I'm in such a hurry. Um, I feel like that's going to play a huge role um, in me getting higher numbers and me, you know, obviously getting better results. Um, I feel like if I had more time, I'd be able to to get more, um, obviously, like I said, more weight and everything like that, which would be cool. Um, but then again, I'm not going to let it get to me. It's not a huge deal to me if I don't get 365. Obviously, if I continuously, I mean, if it's like a monthly thing where I'm going about this for workout after workout after workout I'm not hitting numbers then I'm gonna really start you know to question things but I mean it's it's only a few sessions it's not a big deal um, overall I'm more just focused uh, I had a lot on my mind going into this and um, you know just uh, really it's it's one of those things if you guys are anything like me and you overthink everything um, you let it get to you and it's just gonna keep making you dip down um, I, uh, yeah, I mean, it's just, I'm really thinking a lot about the future, a lot about this year. I'm extremely, and I'll tell you guys this, I don't like to get too, too personal, but I'm extremely, extremely, extremely stressed for uh, my upcoming class schedule. And uh, this year I found out, or I realized, I should say, that I'm gonna be graduating uh, if I get this um, this semester, everything, if I pass this semester, all my classes, I have four classes this semester and they're all um, full, you know, full classes, not electives or anything like that. If I pass all of these while working full time uh, and doing this and everything, I, I'll be able to graduate next semester. So that's that came to my realization, of, uh, I would say two days ago. And so I've just been balancing that in my head and then Valentine's Day is coming up and it's really hard to be single for me on Valentine's Day uh, just because it's always just been one of those days where I get, I don't know, I, I've, I've always, well for the past two years I've been, I was with my ex and uh, it's gonna be my first single Valentine's Day in a long time and so I'm very uh, discouraged about that. 
crime warrior, crime war. But yeah, so it's gonna be a hard day for me. Other than that, I mean, I'm really just focused on getting through school right now. I could really honestly care less if I hit PRs at this point. I'm just, I'm focused on, or trying to focus on just me. And uh, that's really ideally what we should all be doing. Anyways, I won't ramble too much more. Stay tuned for the rest of the video, guys. See ya. Alrighty, folks, long day at work. Hit deadlifts today, and now I'm home. And about to dig into some dinner. So, I'm gonna show you guys what I got. You guys gotta know me by now. Onions, cilantro, mozzarella. Aw oh, yeah. Always good. Many of you asked the question, Eric, why do you eat the same dinner every night? My response is usually the same. I don't. I will say I eat pizza and broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and tofu pretty frequently, but I'm a big fan of eating things that I enjoy the taste of. One of them is pizza. Key for me is knowing, is learning that I can make these foods taste good myself and I enjoy it. I enjoy modifying different recipes. I like making new things with these various foods. I just, I mean, it's appealing to me. I like it. So that's why you guys see usually the same stuff. Granted, I've changed things up once in a while. I'll switch to rice, I'll make potatoes. But for now, it is what it is. There's nothing wrong with eating the same thing frequently as long as you're getting your macro and micronutrient requirements and you're eating a well-rounded and balanced diet. Alrighty guys, so right now we're gonna be trying out Kellogg's S'mores. Uh, I haven't seen this cereal in forever, and I'm excited to try it. Crunchy Graham cereal wrapped in a chocolatey coating with marshmallows, and in case you guys are wondering, yes, I am cooking something in the background. That's why it's a little uh, noisy right now, but that's not gonna stop me from having my cereal. Let's get to it. Literally smells like a s'more. That nostalgia though. Of course, the texture shot. All right, guys, and here we go. Honestly, I barely even taste any chocolate in this. I used to love this cereal as a kid. Oh, I'm very disappointed, I mean, it's great that, the only good thing I like about this is the fact that it's got, um, the chocolatey pieces are, are very airy, so it kind of, it it's kind of like a honey, like a, a, a semi, it doesn't really even taste like chocolate, but like a chocolate hum, honeycomb. If you guys have ever had that before. Um, other than that, I mean, there's really nothing special about this cereal. I'm gonna give the cereal a three out of 10. Pretty big letdown. 